Hello, you beautiful, beautiful people. How are y'all doing, fam and divine masculine? So let's see what's going on with y'all. Okay, here. There's like no need for you to retaliate. I, I've been picking that energy up recently here. Okay, it's no need for you to say anything or do anything. Just keep living your life. This is not going to be a very long message. Okay, it seems like somebody needs like a constant reminder of who they are. You need to learn how to live in that energy of knowing who you are and that anybody that tries to go up against you, they're trying to go up against my father. So it's not going to work. Okay. Community. It's a community of people behind someone forking the road. Okay. This could be like an angry mob or something. This seems like somebody is, um, this actually seemed like a huge fight at somebody's school or their home. Like something went from home to school or from school to home. Or something, somebody trying to fight for a child or some shit. Or this could have already happened. Milk and honey in the reverse, yeah, chaos and conflict. Someone is jealous of your children because of who you are. Don't feel bad, though. Don't dim who you are down. Somebody is now attacking somebody's children. Okay, these are grown-ass adults that are, like, getting their children, their cousins and shit like that, brothers, whatever, to uh, attack a divine feminine or masculine kids. It's not going to go like that. Your child... It's going to fuck all these folks up, for real. It don't matter how many people it is. Like, something is going to... It seems like somebody's been being bullied or something. Or I don't know what this energy is. But somebody is playing games. Message in a bottle. So, I feel like something with you is going on like that, too. It's like you're being bullied. Your child is being bullied. But it's like in a way that it's not a physical bullying that you're going through. And either is your child. It's just like something emotionally somebody is doing. Spiritually manipulating something. Yeah, this is over with. Never any story in the reverse. You could literally be moving or something like that. Like you could be moving for work or just moving just because. Because something is not regenerating. Something is not going the right way. And like I felt too, like somebody just moved. Like, like not long. Like you just moved like a month ago, two months ago. Maybe even six months. Like you just moved and it's like you have to move all over again. Because it's like everywhere you go, people won't change their direction. They keep coming towards you. But these are all illusions. I want to keep telling you that somebody is being paid to make noise around your home. Like they're doing the same shit over and over. Like they're placing people wherever you, everywhere you go. It is somebody literally placed there getting paid to make noise. Just do stupid shit. And it's just weird because it's like, yeah, you have no life because something is not even bothering you. But I feel like uh, somebody may be messing with your vehicle. I keep picking up something about somebody having to, having to wash their car over and over. Spirit said, that's the truth. I'm telling the truth of rule here. Okay, here, somebody, it seems like somebody's trying to lure you in. I told you that this, this, this bitch, this bonnet head wearing hoe is making all of this fucking noise and doing all this shit because the bitch is trying to get you to get out, get put out. This hoe is like, this, this person doesn't even realize they're being put out. They're going to get a notice on their door maybe today or tomorrow that they have to leave the premises. Because first of all, whoever this is that was paying them, something some, something is not right. Something is not going to keep going round and round like this. Like somebody's not going to keep constantly disrupting you when you're working, when you're trying to sleep, when you're doing whatever this is. It's like every time you're doing something, this person is listening to you. They're making a bunch of noise. They're just doing a lot and they're being paid to do it. So I don't blame a broke nothing ass fucking bitch with no future at all. No gifts, no nothing, no morals for getting paid to live somewhere. Because this is the only way this hoe going to have somewhere to live. That's the only way this person going to have somewhere to live. This is a bitch. This is a feminine energy doing this to you. They're constantly doing this shit over and over again. Constantly. And they're purposely doing it. Like, bitch, you know damn well people live above you and below you. So, next to you. So, why are you making all this noise? You're doing it on purpose, bitch. This hoe ain't gonna have nowhere to go. And it's not you that's reporting them. Whoever this person is that had the money, they don't have money to pay this bitch rent anymore. Or they just see something that's just obviously not affecting you. They don't have no power to control your day. So, yeah. You're still winning. It's like 
somebody is calling this bitch over and over. Why you? Why is that person not running out of the house? Why are they still comfortable? Why are they still showing up for work? Why don't I hear you making noise in their background when I when when you know? So you could do something on social media. This bitch is supposed to wait until you're working to make a bunch of fucking noise, and this person is like, why don't I hear you making noise and you're not doing what I told you to do? Or so it's just some dumb shit. It's stupid shit I'm picking up on. You are too advanced. Like I feel, somebody wants you to come to their fucking door and start arguing with them. Honey, you are not about to feed into whatever this is. This bitch can do whatever she needs to do, but you're not going anywhere. This bitch will be escorted off the fucking premises because this bitch thinks life is a game or something. This whole playing all these fucking games and don't even know that she about to have to move out. This bitch about to have to literally move out of this townhouse or whatever the fuck this is. They're not going to win. Triumph is in the reverse. I feel like this bitch is doing something to try to cause frequencies. They're trying to shift your energy inside of your home using the frequency of disturbance. Period. Mental conflict. It's like whoever you are, I've been picking up on this for about a year. My thing is you've moved. So why is the same thing? It's, it can't possibly be the same shit over and over. And I feel like you may live in like a one bedroom or a two bedroom. Either way it goes, children are not making this noise. This bitch is doing this. This person ain't got no children. They don't have no dogs. It's nothing like that. But whoever you are, you're walking into your destiny. This is someone that's mad because you're not deceiving. They're also mad as fuck because you don't want to be with them. It's not a spiritual union. So this is that same goddamn fool who keeps sending people to watch your home and everywhere you go, they go to. And you know what I'm saying? Like this person ain't even nowhere near. They just got people that they pay. And it's like nothing at all is affecting you. That's the big truth. Nothing is affecting you. So it's pissing this person off. What am I paying you money for? Why am I paying your rent? Why am I buying your kids clothes? Whatever whatever the case is, why they, this person is questioning why the fuck they're doing something. Because it's not affecting you. But they've been doing this. So it's never affected you. And even if you had to move. I don't feel like it was because somebody was making noise. I feel like you moved to either upgrade or to downgrade. You didn't move because of this bitch. You didn't move because of the noise or something. Like whoever you are. You're very patient. Like and, and you will handle shit. But I feel like whatever bro. Whoever you is. It's like somebody is trying to have an altercation with you. Movement choices, decisions, love begins. Like, you can tell this bitch is doing this shit on purpose. The hoe is weird, period. This is a losing nothing bitch, period. And it's like they always got to get around you some kind of way. They're trying to send frequencies to you, I'm telling you. But it's like something is just not karmically meant to happen. It's like somebody is really trying to find any way and they will pay any amount of fucking money that they need to to have you suffer for something. It's like you're just not going to suffer. That's what it's not meant for you to suffer. Like, the timeline you're in now, it's not meant for you to suffer. Like, in the reverse. Throat chakra reverse. Yeah, this is like you're not saying nothing. You're not doing nothing. You're just simply working. You're moving on. It's like, it's nothing you really can do. Because everywhere you go, truly, they're going to do the same shit. It's like, uh, you could be saving up for a house. Or you could be getting your credit fixed or something. You dig a real shit. Like, you could be doing something here. So, where, um, you know, you're just getting your shit together. And you could be waiting to move into an actual house. But my thing is, a lot of y'all done had a house left to you, and these people know that too. So it's it's like they're trying to get you in the streets by any means. Just period. Somebody's trying to make sure you're homeless by any means necessary, honey. They want you to put your business on the back burner. Like, stop focusing on getting your credit repair. Stop focusing on trying to make something right or something like that. Whoever you are, it shouldn't matter what the fuck your credit is. You got a whole last house. Whole ass inheritance. That's what I'm saying. But still get your credit. I'm just saying like you shouldn't even have to worry about any of that shit, bro. You had money and everything left to you. And I don't care what nobody says. It's like what else could be possibly going on? Your family knows something about it. About the fact that they're doing spell work on you to have you not married, single, and broke. They, they know why they're doing that shit because you're somebody's child. And they've been lying to your ass about who your real father is. Somebody in this fucking energy is just a loser. It's some losing shit. And it's crazy because I can pick it up. It's like somebody is literally trying to cause you to have health issues. And I mean, it's not karmically meant to be like that. So it's not. So yeah, what the fuck? Leave this person the fuck alone, shawty. Leave this person alone. The stars are not going to align in your favor. I'm trying to tell you the vibe of rules here. The fuck are you? This is bullshit or Somebody should not be concerned about you, shout out. I'm trying to tell you. And if you worried about your kids, don't worry. Trust and believe your kids are just fine, honey. If they anything like you, trust that.
If your child is a product of you, don't worry about what the fuck these hoes and niggas doing. Because ain't nobody going to fucking touch your goddamn child. And if they do, they going to get fucked the fuck up. I'm trying to tell you that. And your child going to do it. Your child know how to protect themselves and defend themselves. They not going to just let nobody beat them down or nothing like that, honey. You have taught this child the right way. And they got the, the skills that they need. Trust that. Trust and believe me. Somebody in this energy is so goddamn desperate. Like, let's just talk about it, bro. You jealous as fuck of this person. You mad as fuck. They don't want nothing to do with you, bro. Let's just talk about it. It's the same fucking shit with y'all people every goddamn day, bro. All throughout the day, you hoes and niggas sitting back monitoring someone else and their happiness. And you just mad as fuck. You mad because it ain't you. You mad as fuck. You'll never show up to the world like this damn person. Never, shout. You always going to be low fucking value, bro. You will always be low tier. You will never be on this person's level. So you trying to knock them out, trying to get them, whatever the fuck, bro. You trying to have this person homeless. This is a bitch that claim to be privileged or somebody that feel like they got some money or something. They trying to make you poverty. Motherfuckers with money, they ain't interested in making other people broke. What are you talking about? People with money ain't interested in making people broke unless you are just completely other fucking devil. Like that serious. People that's in the upright, they not interested 11-11 in making nobody's life hard. You getting sudden wealth because of this. This is crazy as fuck. You are the real deal. Somebody don't understand this shit, shawty. They just truly don't. You are so mature in the situation. Like whoever you are, you could have been snapped, but you didn't. What's the point? Because when you remove yourself and go somewhere else, they're going to follow you there too. These people follow you around everywhere you go. This shit is crazy. It's like they want you to have no peace whatsoever, but they doing that shit in a very slick fucking way. And they're spending a lot of money only for them to be in bad health. This stupid ass bitch about to be admitted to a hospital. Y'all hoes better sit the fuck down playing with people in their life. Because whatever you're doing is not going to work. This person is under some kind of heavy judgment. I'm literally hearing a man calling this dumb bitch. Why don't I hear noise? Why this person ain't running out the house? Why Why we, we need to go and steal something from them? Why am I not able to take from them or, or something? It's like the bitch is trying to send a frequency of confusion. Like I feel, just keep doing what you do. This bitch right here finna get her shit rocked because this man is not going to pay this rent. While she up there playing games, down there playing fucking games, on the side of you playing games, this bitch can't even pay her fucking rent. Sis, it's the six, ho. You about to get the fuck up out this house or this goddamn uh, apartment or this townhouse or whatever the fuck this is, like I felt. Look at what's at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Bitch, you about to get the fuck up out of it. This privileged lady about to get a fucking message. And it's probably her fucking child doing this shit. Y'all bitches is weird. This shit weird as fuck. They keep picking up the same dumb shit over and over again. You cannot beat this person. You will never beat them. They're on the wheel. This Virgo is on the wheel, ho. This Aquarius fishy pussy bitch keeps trying to send this stupid shit at you. And this nigga, these people ain't got no new beginnings. It's like a, a it's a main female and it's a main male. It's like two main people that want your demise. It's two main people. They're not going to stop until they see. I want to say the rim, the ramifications of their actions. They ain't, they not, don't, they getting only karma. Like, they're not going to see you fall the fuck. I don't know what you looking for. You're not going to see what you're looking for, bitch. That's not what the fuck you're going to see, bitch. You're not going to see this person fall. Page of swords. Every fucking day with the same dumb shit. This stupid ass bitch on the same shit. Every motherfucking day. The whole waiting for you to come say, you're not going to say nothing to this bitch for what? The whole want to call the police on you. That's all. I'm hearing somebody beating on somebody fucking door as well. Like you may have children or something. Your children might be making noise or you could be moving somewhere. Somebody is beating on your fucking door. Man, bitch, what are you talking about? Don't be going to nobody fucking house beating on their door. Who the fuck you think you is? And then when you get your shit rocked in, you up here looking stupid. The moon card, the chariot reverse, the eight of wands reverse. I cannot make this up. Whatever this is, is going back to them. It's not going to work. This emperor is doing this. And you're about to get justice because of the illusions. This person's nine of pentacles is now in the fucking reverse. Yeah. So you're not winning anything. 
This person is heartbroken. They're lifting heavy burdens. They're carrying, they're lifting burdens and carrying them as well. And it's like they keep trying to make you suffer for no reason. It's like hoes and niggas is getting paid to do shit and they don't even know why and who they doing shit to. They have no idea. These people are spiritually stupid as fuck. The will of fortune. That's what's karmically meant to happen. This person carrying burdens. The lovers. It's a lot of major arcana out here already, honey. This is a shame. This monitoring energy constantly around you. With the seven of swords and the nine of cups. Yeah, but they can't tend to swords you. The fucker Like, they're not finna block you where you're too far into your calling. These people should have done all this shit when you were in your south node. I keep saying this. They should have literally done all of this when you were in your south node. You are entirely too strong now. You have strength. It's like all of this did. All this did was make you way stronger. It's like somebody trying to skip judgment days. Like they, this person loves to dick around and play games and shit. And then when it's time to answer for some and they ain't got the answer, they want more time. They want some kind of leniency or, or, or some kind of, you know, continuance or something. This could also be something in court. You walked away from somebody and you became the damn empress or they walked away from you. Either way it goes, you were supposed to separate from this Scorpio Cancer or this damn Pisces. Could also be a losing ass fucking Libra. Somebody is mad as hell. Everything you do every day, they watching that shit. And they trying to find a way to send these lower damn frequencies towards you. And it's not even working. They do all kind of spell work around your house and all kind of shit. All they're doing is drawing your wish fulfillment closer and closer to you. So if anything, they're helping you become this mogul, this star and you're in this Queen of Wands energy and you're not stepping out of it. You are very confident and sexy at this time. And all the time, you always been. Somebody is so goddamn mad. Don't nobody give a damn. Somebody named Rachel or Raphael or, Ra Ra Raphael or something like that. I keep hearing Shannon or Sharon. Yeah, the Ten of Cups. I'm telling you, it's your family. Your family has been keys of family secret that you don't know anything about. It's, it's because of who child you are. So that's why they're trying to take you out of the public eye. Like there, you could be in the public eye or you're destined to be. It's like they don't want anyone to catch on to who you are or something. I mean, but I feel like it's a little too late. Somebody's name could be Jojo. Joe to see is significant. You gonna meet Casey and Jojo or something. Seven of Pentacles. It's like you've been working, bro. And these people have been making some deceptive ass moves. And they've been doing this all behind your back. It's like, since you're not going to stop this person, just let it fucking go. Somebody is refusing. They're holding the fuck on to the thought of being able to end you permanently. It's not going to work like that. The only way something won't work for you is if you stop working it. You dig a real shoe. You have all the tools that you need to be successful. And this ain't nobody fucking business. They not doing the work. So my thing is, why are they so concerned? It ain't them that's putting their motherfucking life on the line. It ain't them that's opening themselves up. It ain't them having to use their gifts. It's you. So if you want to take a risk and get the reward, that's on you to do. They keep trying to send death at you because of a ten of pentacles that they didn't know that you knew about. You know about this ten of pentacles. You may not know all the information regarding it. And that's about to change swiftly as well. This Scorpio is about to get their shit rocks. And this bitch or this nigga keeps watching everything you do. In a page of swords. Something is karmically meant to go in your favor. And that's just period. It's balanced. Something has to be balanced out. This is just weird. And these people should really be ashamed of themselves. It's because like the, the only imbalance is in their life. Like they're showing up looking incompetent and narcissistic. Obnoxious as fuck. And these people don't even know why. It's like they've been completely body snatched by a demon. And they, they think that they're making their own decisions. They think that it's them doing these things and it's not. They're being controlled by an entity. This is absolutely crazy. The Queen of Pentacles. They're not blocking your money, Queen of Swords. I feel like you are all queens. You're, you're the Empress. That's what I'm saying. You got the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords out here all in the fucking upright. And somebody is mad because you're doing something by yourself. I told you this King of Pentacles is about to take a fucking loss. This person does not even love you. They sit back working together and doing dumb shit because they don't want somebody to be with you. Somebody is trying to stop somebody's relationship, period. 
They're trying to they're trying to block a relationship. And if this dumbass bitch knew what all this shit was about, the whole wouldn't even participate. She wouldn't even participate. If this bitch knew that she about to be thrown on the side of the road with her shit, this bitch would have never even done all of this. Because the way that karma is going to rock this bitch, she's going to get put out of this home. You ain't even got to move. Spirit said, that's the ace of swords fucking true. You ain't got to move a muscle. This emperor is going to come to you. Whoever you are, it's kind of funny how things always line up for you. Like, you never have to go out your way and do shit. It's like people think they're doing something to irritate you and make you stop, but it's really making you go harder. Like, you get motivated from fuck shit. You definitely could be a Virgo. You're always to yourself soul searching or something like that. And you know somebody is feeding you lies or something around you is fucking lies. Somebody trying to skip judgment day or something, but judgment day is here. These hoes and niggas will bow to my father, bro. I keep saying this over and over again. You dig a real skill. I mean, it's nothing really truly to say. What is there to clarify or rectify? It is what it is. You're doing fuck shit to a person that is meant to be here. Whatever this is, it's like you came straight from heaven to this damn earth just to do exactly whatever this is. So why do you think that you won't be protected? Or why do you think somebody going to get away with what they're doing? Oh, trust and believe me, they're not getting away with nothing. They're not. Just like it's karmically meant for you to be here in this winning energy, it's karma for them to get their shit rocked to these people will not last. I promise you that. They will not survive. Whatever they put out to you, it's going to all come hit them at once. And they're not going to survive it, bro. This is a lot of fucking games, a lot of manipulation, a lot of snake ass shit, bro. I'm picking up on a bunch of snake shit. Like, it's like you've been tolerating something for so long. You're tired of you like, Dad, what's going on? Like, when am I going to get my due diligence, my justice? Oh, trust and believe me, sweetheart. You definitely about to get it. It's just these people trying to, they trying to stop from receiving their karma. Because once you get, once they get their shit rock, oh, you must understand that you are completely unstoppable. You're unstoppable right now. But just imagine the day that your enemies are done with forever. I mean, hoes and niggas going to prison. They losing their life. They going completely broke. They don't want that day to ever come. So guess what they're doing? They're doing any and everything to prevent it. But it's the inevitable. You cannot prevent that. You can't stop what's already meant to happen, shawty. These hoes and niggas playing with y'all money. They playing with your kids, playing with your life and all kind of shit. And they think they're not going to answer for it. No, you will. And put your chest out when you got your answer, ho. Speak loud and fucking clear. Like you trying to make these orders clear to these people that you paying. I want this to happen and I need you to do this. Get over there now and watch them and go key their car and whatever the case is. This is crazy, bro. Go flatten their tires. Then not tell why are they still able and why are like what the fuck? Like it's stupid. This shit is so dumb. Like these folk bloodline is just tainted. Like these people ruined their bloodline. Why do you think they were never chosen to be the black sheep? The generational curse breaker. You're breaking curses for family that ain't even fucking yours. I really feel like somebody in this energy don't realize that these people are really not your family, bro. You don't even look like these people. You don't even look like these people. Y'all folk look like all of y'all got different fathers or something like that. You don't look shit like this woman that claimed to be your mother. This bitch been doing beauty magic on you since you were a kid to make you even favor her ass. You don't look nothing like these people. You will be surprised what spell work can do, bro. But you will also be surprised how that shit can really fuck your ass up when it backfires, fuck. If you ain't got nothing to say, don't say nothing at all. If you ain't got nothing good to say, don't say nothing at all. If you ain't doing nothing good, don't do nothing at all. And that shit go with any aspect and anything. You need to truly just sit the fuck down because this is envy, honey. This is somebody who is trying to prevent the inevitable. You're, you're always going to be top tier. You're always going to be handpicked. And, we'll, and whoever is in the way, they're going to get, what, tossed the fuck up if they don't get out of the way. It's like your spiritual team, like, really, this light feather motherfucker? Like, it's you? Like, it's you trying to, you know, it's you trying to block my baby? Like, man, you don't take your ass on with this shit, shawty. It's you? Yeah, right. Light or like I said, easy does it. Easy. This is not hard work to your, your spirit team. They do this shit for a living. Somebody is doing too damn much in this energy, shawty. Somebody is doing too goddamn much. And they run out of options. Somebody is doing too much. They're doing too fucking much. It's like they were trying to attack your health, attack your home, attack your kids, attack your money, attack everything. 
And it's, you're being restored. The whole time God was perfecting you, bruh. Somebody led named Mason or Harper. God been protecting you. He's been shielding you from these damn energies. It's because of your persistent efforts that you keep going, bruh. No matter how motherfuckers feeling today. No matter how we might be appearing today, whatever the case, we showing the fuck up. And that's why you always got a gift with your name on it. And somebody is fucking mad, bruh. It's like somebody's trying to turn everyone against you. It's like they want you at odds with everyone. And then when spirit come even the playing field and now they fucking mad. They took a risk. Somebody should not have went into the spirit trying to do something. Because whatever they manifested, they manifested something to go completely backwards. It's like an adverse effect or something like that. It's not even touching you. It's like the more they do, the deeper in debt that they're going in. I told you, this is not your real mother. This ain't your real father. Whatever the fuck this is, bro. Somebody's a damn liar. Something is going back in time or something. It's something about the time. I've been saying that. It's literally something here about the time. Nobody's going to take your time from you. Like, what the fuck? Somebody wants to be solely responsible for your demise. It's like they feel like people going to be rejoicing and celebrating if they can cause your death. Or you're like, what the fuck are you talking about? And it's mostly about your beauty. Bro, you are too beautiful. Like, you don't even look shit like these people. How in the fuck are these your family members? You don't even look nothing like them. You're in your life purpose. Like, this, this man, you don't want shit to do with this man. Why don't he understand that? It's like this person literally is trying to fuck up everything that you're doing. Whatever this is you're selling. It's like this person trying to convince people, but with spell work. Like, they're, they're trying to just all of a sudden have people not rocking with you or something like that, man. That shit is illusions, bro. Because they're unfulfilled. And somebody's orders are unfulfilled or something. Or they want you to have so much going on that you take some kind of loss and have to refund people money or something like that. It's, it's just too fucking much. Somebody wants you in charity energy, like they, but they want this to be you, people giving to you, or but like in a way that you're a peasant or something here, like on the side of the road with a can, begging for change. No, whoever you are, you're charitable. You give back to people. Somebody is really about to have their pockets full, like every fucking pocket in your purse, in your wallet, in your motherfucking pants, whatever the fuck, anything you touch, it's full of money. I'm going to claim this for my damn self. I'm claiming this damn reading. Somebody need to get the fuck on because it's a science to this shit. They don't see what my dad been doing. You are a motivator to many people. Whoever you are, bro, you ain't got to be tight with your fucking self. If you want to go buy something, go fucking buy it. And watch how my dad restore it. Just watch how he restore it. This is not go just spend money on dumb shit you don't need. If you need something you need or even if you want it. God is our dad. What are you talking about, bro? Ain't nobody finna be stingy with they self. The fuck is you talking about? Somebody is really trying to ruin your confidence. Didn't I just tell you this? Gift. I'm claiming this whole, man, I'm claiming this whole reading for myself. Next level, of boss. You're about to be partnered with the best of them because you are one of the best. I heard you are indeed the best. The artist. You are the best. Like somebody is trying to make it seem like you're not by causing poverty. Somebody is trying to drive you out of your home. You're making millions from home or something, or this is coming up. Somebody really doesn't want you in your home. They want you out. I told you because they stole your house or something, or they just been lying. And they're mad because you're not settling. You will get up and work. Your money is not halted. Like they're not stopping nothing. This shit is stupid as fuck. And they mad because you don't got to work hard as hell. Somebody wants you slaving, sweating, and doing all this work for nothing. They want you to literally be working for nothing, for pennies. I know prisoners that make more in a day than what these hoes and niggas trying to make you earn for work that you're doing. And they keep being told, reconsider a decision, and they won't listen. This is somebody who is very fucking hard-headed. This designer card, this is somebody fucking mama, but this is not your mom. This person was supposed to do some kind of, like, they, they were supposed to be doing, like, um, sewing or something. Like, they were supposed to be using their gifts to make m money for them. But all they doing is using their spiritual gifts to steal from you and to hide shit. This bitch is the witch of this family. When people got a problem, they come to this bitch and she casts spell work on you. When they feel like you're getting too woke. Gaia is not fulfilling whatever this is. Every Everything, anything, whatever the fuck they want or desire, they're not getting it. They will always be unfulfilled. 
Even if something were to go their way, it'll unexpectedly turn for the worse. That's what I'm saying. Everything around you is set up strategically. Like I said before, this is like that poverty test that just keeps going on and on and on. Yeah, you already passed the test of poverty that you ain't finna sit around and wait for no fucking handouts. You're gonna make a way, period. I mean, you've already fucking shown that. that you're supposed to live a comfortable life. Somebody in this energy is not getting you, bro. Yeah. It's, it's not meant for you. You're you're working hard. That's what I'm saying. And you're working hard in silence. I don't see why somebody feels like because they're in fear. They fear your life purpose. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how do they even know what kind of moves you're making because they're watching every fucking thing you're doing. I don't even feel like you're releasing things at this time or anything. Somebody's trying to go ahead of you and see what it is that you're working on or just like, well, let me block them before it even comes out kind of energy. You're an entertainer. Somebody doesn't want you to put in a persistent effort to build up a following or keep your following going. Or it's just weird. Hoes and niggas ain't got no fucking help right here. Spirit is not going to come rescue them with this shit. Success is not finding them. They don't have an office space. They can't ask for fucking help. They're not being recognized for shit that they were promoting about you. These people need counseling, bro. This is crazy. This is every day. Y'all tired of hearing it, bitch? I'm tired of reading this shit. Fuck is you talking about? It's the goddamn energy, and this is what I do. I read the energy, and this is always in the fucking energy. So I suggest you go, bitch. Get the fuck off of my shit. Because I'm not going no fucking where. You need to fucking go, bitch. Because I'm fucking tired of this shit. I am literally tired of reading this. This is crazy for somebody to not understand that they're just not going to beat you. Like they just do, they refuse to believe that this is your ace of pentacles. Like they're refusing to see this. Something is about to switch right back to how it was before somebody manipulated some shit in your fucking life. And it's a matter of goddamn minutes, hours that somebody about to get their shit rocked. To the point of no return. And they're definitely scared with this fright card. Now they trying to compromise with spirit. Oh, I'll do better next time. I do Nah, bro, we don't want to hear that shit. You had too many next times. Time is fucking up, bitch. This person thought they were going to send a natural disaster to you. But see, they ain't ready for what the fuck is coming for them. It's like they're trying to do shit with magic. This is magic all day long. Somebody's trying to cause some shit to happen with magic. And they're blindly walking into their own trap. Somebody could be blind. Somebody could be trying to play with your eyesight. Like they could be trying to make you spiritually blind or something. Look, it's a fated event. Somebody read your fate or something. Or they know what your fate is. I feel like this is the devil himself with his bitch ass using people. But if you could be used by the devil, you are too. So, yeah. What else is here, daddy? Thank you very much for the messages. Yeah, somebody made a vow to cause conflict in your life. I mean, I feel like they living up to they they were. They they were causing conflict, but that don't mean that the conflict is stressing you out. They might be doing something. They may be literally causing conflict, but it's not bringing any stress to you. They about to lose something, and then they going to have the nerve to try to apologize because they tried to cause a damn accident. They having nightmares about the shit that they did. I told you this is not your fucking family. These people is not really your family, bro. Look at these people. These people ain't related to you, bro. To claim that you got the same mother and father. Y'all ain't even got the same facial features, the same anything. Y'all kids don't even look alike. I mean, I know you have kids with different people, but still, some this should be some kind of resemblance here. It ain't no fucking resemblance between you and these fucking people. And I feel like this old bitch is doing spell work on your kids or something. Trying to turn them more wicked or something like that. Like you could be not even recognizing your own kids and their behaviors or something. It's because this bitch keeps doing spell work on you and your kids. Yeah, the strategies are not working. I told you they ain't going to be able to bully you. These people are not your friends. They're not anything. These, these fucking rituals, these ritualistic sacrifices that they keep trying to do. And somebody is merely just... I told, didn't I tell you they tried to fucking kill you, bruh? They want you dead. It's not happening. And whoever this damn man is, this man is very strange. It's like, 
Bro, go on, on about your fucking life, bitch. I seen 34, 34. It's like you don't want this man. Let it fucking go. You're not even mad. I feel like just go, bitch, because you don't got no fucking look. This person's look has run out. Like, somebody doesn't understand. Something has flipped. The tables have literally turned, bro. These collaborations are done. And somebody is, they're, they're overloaded. Like, this this person is just, they they out. They finna get put out of their misery now. Yeah, these strategies not gonna work, honey. Somebody really needs to see things for what it is. Somebody's not seeing things for what they are. For sure. They're not. And they, I don't feel like they ever will. Because they're just too blind and stupid and so focused on taking something from you. They don't see that something in their life is about to end drastically. Close this message out there. Thank you very much for the energy. What else is here? Things are about to just start flowing freely to you. That's how it's supposed to be. That's what I'm saying. And somebody was trying to cause disruption to that every chance they fucking got. It's like they wanted you to mysteriously just something mysteriously just go wrong or something like when shit's supposed to be smooth. It's like, well, what the fuck happened? Yeah, I can't make this shit up. You're hungry for success. This, this is your energy all the time. Success. Nobody's going to do nothing about this. They're not going to block you, period. I'm going to leave it right here. Remember they got lotion and so do I.